Good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in his Bangor, Maine Fire Department Limited Edition T-shirt. It's got a big sign on the back, too. Thank you, Brian and the people or whoever at the Mission or Maine, Bangor, Maine Fire Department. It's the 200th anniversary T-shirt. Thank you. Anyway, moving right along. AT&T, out. Why? Well, my bill was three times what it was supposed to be, okay, for the first month. They prorated a month, and they didn't charge me for a full month. It was $147, and it was supposed to be $62 a month. And then they told me, well, the explanation there, sir, is that it takes two months for these things, sometimes three months for these discounts to apply. I said, well, you know what you can do? Cancel my account now, two months. What is this? They don't have a computer yet? Well, they got to go to file drawers and pull crap out? Get out of here, AT&T. Verizon does the same thing. I'm sure they all do, but I don't have to tolerate it. So I went to Visible. Visible is owned by Verizon. It's uh, MVNO, but it, you, you got to have a certain phone, or it, it doesn't take all phones. They have their own phone, of course, but I use my Pixel, which works. I hadn't got it hooked up yet, but we're doing it now. But anyway, it's $40 a month, all taxes and fees included. If you get some people on with you, you can get it down to $25. I'm not going to fool with that. I'm not going to do that, so don't even ask. And But it's all artificial intelligence. They have no stores, no people, basically none. And uh, I was in the chat room yesterday, and I'm almost positive it was, it was an, I was talking to a computer. <coughs> but anyway, they resolved my issue. I was trying to port my number or get it in the mode to be ported. But anyway, having said that, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 39. 39 with a high of 44. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Kingsland, Texas? The current temperature in Kingsland is 59. With a high of 62, and it's sprinkling rain. You may be able to hear it on my tin roof, my uh, RV cover here. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte right now, it's 40. Four zero. My God. What? 40, 40, plus 40. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The current temperature in Fairbanks is minus 26. Now we're getting there with a high of minus 6. That's my kind of cold. Do you think I'd live there? No. No, no, no. Not a chance. But anyway, I'm in my 2019 Casita 17 footer, 84 square feet of interior space. I've been full-time RV in a long time. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Today is the day after yesterday, but it's the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. And these are my buddies back here. This is Trenton Clump, a smiling it. That is a teddy bear with my name on it. This is Popeye Olive Oil from the old Popeye cartoons, Betty Boop, Mr. Bill. And behind them is a sticker that says native texan on it with a jalapeno and this is a million dollar where's the million dollar bill a million dollar bill thousand yen note five euro note two dollar bill i got all kind of stuff up there and this is a frugal rv gal sticker check her channel out and deborah dickinson on youtube this is mr bojangles he'll dance for you, you pull that little string and he goes doot, doot, like that and those are organic bananas i got four left actually i got five i got one up there ready to go and that is Olive Oil's bra. That is a smiling face with nose, ears, and hair. And that is a little sticker that says, it doesn't say it, but you know what I mean, the print, you read it. And it says, life is better in a casita. Now I will open my magic laptop here, my Chrome book, my Acer CB515-1HTP39B. <laughs> The Chromebook, Chromebook, nah, 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 nah. Well, here we are with Rhonda Waldron on the house, a very nice house or an RV. <clears throat> she said, RV, actually both. Now, there's a typical female response. I'll take both. <laughs> I like it. Thank you, Rhonda. So help me, Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. <laughs> there's a song about that. Anyway, Benson Speed Shop, beautiful home. Thank you. Yeah, it was. It is a beautiful home. Not was, is a beautiful home. I'm telling you. Perfect location here in the Texas Hill Country, right up on top of a hill. Beautiful view, beautiful landscape, 15 or 20 acres, whatever it is. Maybe more. I don't know. 
Benson Speed Shop says beautiful home. I think I probably said that. But anyway, imagine your Odyssey. That's the person's name on the house. It's as much as I love the layout of that house, I would still pick an RV. RV RVing and creating videos is what I love. Also having a new backyard whenever I want. Well, that simply is amazing. Great video. Yep, you're right. There are, you know, I, actually, I was, that was kind of tongue-in-cheek. I mean, I mean the, the, you really couldn't compare that house to living in an RV, okay? I mean, you could park your RV in that house. Two, th five of them. <laughs> uh, Harold Gatlin, that is a beautiful area of Texas. Anyway, my favorite reminds me of Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee whiskey. You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Remember that song? Edward Galloway, lovely house, but you're, so is your casita. That's correct. Em. Thank you, sir. Tumblebug. Now, there's my kind of name there, Tumblebug. Is that... A rhetorical question, Rusty. RV, of course. I like words like rhetorical. Uh, anyway, William R. Kirkland. Too many women will screw up any dream. <laughs> I don't know about that. Men do the same thing, probably. Ken Sciolia. Wow, Rusty, what a house. What did it sell for? Money. <clears throat> a lot of money. Now, I don't know. I didn't ask. I, I, I'm sure it was... I'd have to say that house close to a million in that area. Maybe more. I don't know. It's hard to say, man. Hard to say. It's a big home, man. It's beautiful. Lot of pro I don't know how much property goes with it. I didn't ask them. <clears throat> None of my business. Curtis Stewart. Keep in mind, they are trading this for Lubbock. The hill country for the Lano Llano Estacado. They have, they have to be from there. They are. They got children or, or grandkids there. Lubbock is okay. Great medical. Beaver, but even off the cap drop, looking east is not the hill country. Nope, it's flat land up in there, and it gets a little breezy, that uh, Lubbock and Amarillo area, a little windy. Tracy Phillips, uh, great video, Rusty, nice house, thank you, De thank you, Tracy. Deb Bushman, beautiful home and property, yeah, it was, it is. Taz Mod, you know, that house is sold probably a half a dozen times, and, well, let's see, it went, they lived there 11 years, so I guess it's sold twice since I've been up here. Tasmod, hello, Rusty Trike Man. Oregon has no sales tax, but has an income tax. The sales tax comes up to vote on, but fails because they don't want to get rid of the income tax. Well, that's true, which makes more money for the state. Um, <clears throat> well, in Texas, we just have a sales tax, and believe me, that is a cash cow. It's about, it varies anywhere from 6% to 8%, depending on what town you're in, because the base state sales tax is right at 6%, and then the city adds another one or one and a half percent on top of that, or two percent, and they get that money. And does it help? Hell yeah, it's millions of dollars. August Calderaro. What a beautiful area and home. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Just me. You have a good life. Oh, what a good life. Yeah, it's fine. I enjoy it. Larry Grasso. Yeah, that's all nice if you're rich. Well, it's, you don't have to be rich. You could be poor. You just wouldn't be there long, that's all. Uh, P-H-D-R-P-H. 2.5 million? I'm not sure, man. I, it could be. I, I know it's uh, th that pool house is as big as most people's homes. <laughs> uh, Al Fur, Great video, Rusty. Beautiful home in the Texas Hill Country. For sure. Uh... Art dog and RV easily. That's way too much property for me to want to fool with. Beautiful though. Yeah, but you know, if you could really afford it, you know, and have the lawn done and you know, all the house clean, you know, somebody cleaning, cooking, mowing the grass and all that stuff. You know, if you had a deep pocket, you'd, it'd be all right. And then put you some eye candy out by the pool, you'd be fine. Sky King, I want it. Well, get it though. Kathy Lenners, I'd rather have an RV and travel if you're rich you could have both nice place if you have a family though love it yeah if you had a few oil wells out in west texas it'd be nice <clears throat> that's life but you know n never mind traveling pair looks beautiful and also high maintenance not my first choice okay thank you christopher neal the pool house would do me just fine <laughs> they could keep the big house and the big taxes and the big everything been there done that just want a casita i hear you babe that's me. I'm living. I'm living the way I want to live, and I'm fine. Der tricks uh, beautiful, of course, but you need many dollars, euros. Better having a 
beer and looking some rust looking at some rusty videos greetings from a poor german man <laughs> good morning dear tricks on the north sea of germany ray sprague <clears throat> cell phones boy have i learned wait till the 5g roll out and all the sales pitches we get then today i would just buy an unlocked phone of my choice on ebay by just the time and data I want by the month. No contracts, no games, no dogs nipping at my heels. <clears throat> Every day is a beautiful day. Enjoy it to the max. Thank you, Ray Sprague. You are correct them. Der Trixa. This German Thursday evening is the evening before your Texas Thursday evening. So let's say prose to America. Okay, prose to you, sir. Ray Sprague. Beautiful place, just what I don't need. Looks like a very nice resort. Some things are better rented, not owned in my opinion, like planes, boats, etc. To each their own. Thanks for the video. You are very welcome. Yeah, I was surprised that video was watched by so many people. Paul Harrington, nice, but I wouldn't want to clean it or pay taxes on it. Me either. Tasmod, hello Tasmod. This is, that is a beautiful home. I would have to hire people to help take care of it. You, I would too. Job 3831. I have a 1,500 square foot full of stuff. Obviously, there are pros and cons. Most of the time, it feels like an expensive ball and chain. I hope to someday transition into a cheaper, freer lifestyle. Yeah, you know, uh, I've often said that we build our own prisons. You know, we, 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 we don't need anybody to build them for us. We, we'll, we, we build our own. And, uh, yeah, and fill, fill them up with stuff. Yeah, they were having a, a garbage sale is what I call it, but it was a garage sale. Did they have some stuff? Yeah, they had a lot. And, and I got there at the end of the garage sale, and they still had stuff. I mean, a lot. And and, and they were going to donate it. You know, they're, get, they're just getting rid of it. And then I know they're going to go buy some more stuff, though. Mr. CJ Cab 64 good day, Captain Rusty. You're welcome. Good morning to you. Tumbleweed, a tumbling tumbleweed. Big money lives there. I, I've had decent money, and it did not make me any happier. Baby, I can relate to that. I remember sitting on the porch of my five-bedroom, three-house out in the country near Victoria, Texas, and I was having a cold beer, and I'm thinking, boy, have, what have I done? <clears throat> yep, I'd just gotten my umpteenth divorce, and there I sat, and that was the end of that, and that was in 1986, long time ago. Raccoon Little Bear, I still prefer the view of the deer, bulls, and donkeys. Live free. Yeah, I got my, I'm fine. How y'all doing? L.J. Floyd, thanks, Rusty. I've been thinking about one of these. This is on the Rockwood Premier Pop-Up Camper. Yep, those are pretty neat, but I've got a casita, and I'm fine. And I also noticed that uh, uh, Slim Potato Head bought him a fiberglass unit. You know, all fiberglass thing. I, I can't remember the name. Uh, uh, Trillium or something. Trillium, I think is what it's called. I've never heard of them. They're made in Canada. Uh, anyway, Hurricane 80806. Hey, Rusty, I live in Lubbock. Great video. Well, good. I'm glad somebody's got to live in Lubbock. Might as well be you. NY Don, just wait until they move out and drive the casita back there before the new owners move in. Then just act surprised when they don't, when they say they didn't know you live there too. I'm sure they won't mind. <laughs> you mean you mean just go up there and camp out? Fitness Made For You, Inc. <clears throat> says, been there, done that. RVing, hands down for me. You got it. Uh, yeah, it says, can't take it with you, but sure can the RV. Just saying. Yep, you're right. I bet the property tax is high as hell. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm, well, I'm sure in dollars it's got to be a stack, but I don't have a clue. We'll keep going here, guys. We're rolling. Kuwaiti Keith, I say your life, I say live your life how you want, because happiness is priceless. I agree with that. How do you know when you're happy? You don't. There's there's no immediate. There's no uh, sign b blinking on your head that says I'm happy. You know how you tell when people are happy? They're usually smiling, laughing, whistling. That's a sign. F W. From the Texas Hill Country to Lubbock, they are really going downgrade on the views going to downgrade on the views possibly it depends on you know there's probably some nice places around lubbock wolfsburg i think they're moving into a penthouse a high rise uh, wolfsburg warehouse the monsanto house of the future okay they got a link to it thank you sir 
Uh, this is Vanessa Blue. Blue on blue. Remember that one? Uh, Vanessa Blue. It is a beautiful home, but I like small and cozy. I always have. Your casita would be my dream home, but I live on disability, so I will, it will remain a dream. Well, you live on I live probably more money than I do. Dennis 78382. Hello, Dennis 78382. Check his channel out on YouTube. He's around the Gulf Coast of Texas. Got some good stuff. Dennis 78382. That is a stunning property. Fortunately, people like us can pull up right next to the lake and enjoy the sunset without paying taxes or paying all that maintenance. A property like that requires. Thank you, Dennis. You are correct them. As you can see, the sun is coming up. We got cakes on the griddle, and it's raining here, sprinkling. It's going to rain all day today, off and on. One day, we're going to have rain. Then tomorrow, the sun comes out, and the next several days, we've got sunshine and stuff. But we need some rain badly, and the rain falling on this roof. Nice. Uh, back road freedom. It, it was, When it's a gentle rain, it's nice. When it's a real downpour, it's kind of noisy. Anyway, back road freedom. It was a nice home, but I don't need that. Have a wonderful evening, my friend. You too, back road freedom. Carl Hop. Sorry, I haven't been checking in regular. I'll email and tell you. I do what I can when I can. You the man, Rusty. Well, okay, Carl, hang in there, buddy. Same person. When I was a young man, this looks lovely despite no trees. Now I'm older and I want something smaller and easier. And I would love this home to rent to someone and rake it in. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Thank you, sir. Danny Vance. Yes, it is very nice. Lots of upkeep, lots of grass to cut. You got it. This is Francis Ebecki. Beautiful house. Are the owners really wealthy or really in debt and robbing Peter to pay Paul? I have no clue. I did not ask. All I know is they were friendly people, very nice, and I enjoyed talking to them while I was there. Mike Brandenburg. The tax man would love you to have that. Taxes would be more than the cost of your casita per year. Yeah, probably would. Uh, Carl Hopp, catching up. Thanks, boss. You're welcome, Carl. Uh, we'll do two or three more and then shut her down here. Let's do three more. Uh, Jeff Erdman. Hey, Rusty, you have shared my multi-million dollar views from your $20,000 casita. I don't think this view is better, much less 100 times better. And when the weather does not suit them, they have to sell or take a vacation. You can hook up and go. You are correct them, Jeff. He also says, hey, Rusty, do you remember a cartoon called Tudor, T-U-D-O-R, Tudor Turtle? No. He would often ask Mr. Wizard for something and in the end did not really want it. Okay, well, that's most, most people do that. You know, we, 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 want, we say we want things and then when we get them, we really don't. Brian Mills, nice hacienda. You're correct. Uh, let's do Sven Johnson. Here we go. Then we'll shut her down. An excellent <clears throat> example that a tiny house can be deluxe. Hadn't occurred to me before, but why not build a tiny home and then landscape it up with a hot tub and pool with all the money you save? The big shack is so large you would need a riding lawnmower, a riding vacuum cleaner. No, you probably would. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me get, hey, uh, hey Google, tell us a big house joke. <clears throat> Did you hear the joke about the roof? I would tell you, but it tends to go over people's heads. That's a real wiener there, guys. I'm sure that just really thrilled you to the toes. <laughs> anyway, guys, what else can I tell you? That's it. Yabba dabba do. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye bye. Anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. It does not cost you one penny. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. And the only way to really lose weight is what? Eat less. So having said that, what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep through your nose or your mouth. Does not matter. <clears throat> Just take a really deep breath. Hold it and then breathe out slowly. Do that several times a day. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. If you don't believe me, check it out. What else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day. Why? Because it's good for you. 
You may live healthier a little longer. Wouldn't that be good? What else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness, your, 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 yours. You know what I mean? It's mine, 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 mine. You know what I mean? So don't let somebody just get up there and dump negativity right in the middle of your brain. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. Best way to live. And what else? Uh... At ease, carry on, adios until next time. I'm going to post another travel trailer video today. Won't that be exciting? <laughs> and anything else? I don't think I'll do anything else. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.